Today, we are going to compare two popular cameras, the Panasonic G2 and Panasonic GF2. We are going to take a look at their features, who they are for, how they perform in various use cases, user experiences, and which one is the right one for you. Links to both of the cameras will be listed in the description below. Let's get started. The Panasonic G2 and the Panasonic GF2 are two digital cameras that were officially introduced respectively in the 12th of July 2010 and the 24th of February 2011. Let's take a look at how their specs compare to each other. We tested both cameras to assess their performance in different scenarios. Let's take a closer look at our ratings for each of them. Here are our ratings for the Panasonic G2. For portrait photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. For street photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. For sports photography, we will give it a 8 out of 10 rating. For day-to-day -day photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. For landscape photography, we will give it a 5 out of 10 rating. Here are our ratings for the Panasonic GF2. For portrait photography, we will give it a 6 out of 10 rating. For street photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. For sports photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. For day-to-day -day photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. For landscape photography, we will give it a 5 out of 10 rating. Next, we will take a look at some sample photos from the Panasonic G2 and the Panasonic GF2. Keep in mind that these photos have editing done to them, so the result from your camera might be different. Let's start with the sample photos. Here are some sample photos from the Panasonic G2. And here are some sample photos from the Panasonic GF2. Next, let's take a look at what other users of these cameras have to say about them. Here's what people have to say about the Panasonic G2. Overall, I found the camera easy to use and the auto bracket feature helpful for learning exposure. I wish I could have bought just the camera body, as the lens that came with it was not very impressive. The LCD screen and viewfinder were great, and I loved the quick movie button for video mode. The still image quality was not as good as I hoped, but shooting in RAW and using the Silky Pix software helped improve the images. The 20mm f1.7 lens was my favorite providing great depth and colors. I also used the Panasonic 14-140mm to zoom lens, which was good but not as intense as the 20mm lens. I hope Panasonic will come out with a constant aperture lens in the zoom range of 12 to 70 millimeters. Overall, I'm satisfied with the camera, but there is room for improvement in the lens options. I specialize in real estate photography, and I recently purchased the Lumix G2 as a backup camera. I chose it for its ability to shoot seven frames at a time with excellent detail, color, and vibrance. The ability to shoot multiple shots in .jpg and RAW is a huge plus for me, and the fold-out screen on the back is really useful. The frame size may be a concern for some, but for my purposes, the G2 files are superior to my other cameras. Overall, I'm really impressed with the G2 and would highly recommend it for real estate photography. Here's what people have to say about the Panasonic GF2. I recently traveled with the GF2, my first camera beyond a point-and-shoot or iPhone. I am extremely happy with it. The body feels solid and well-built, and the compact size and slim lens make it easy to carry. The shots through the 14mm lens look excellent, and there are plenty of lens options available. The system does a great job of picking values, and the touchscreen. I just got my GF2 today, and after some initial testing, I have to say I'm pretty impressed. The size is perfect for carrying around and the controls are simple. The picture quality is good and I like the adjustable white balance feature. The touchscreen works well for me and the video recording is stable. Overall, I'm happy with my purchase and excited to keep using this camera. To conclude, here are our overall ratings for both of these cameras. Panasonic G2. We will give it an overall rating of 7 out of 10. Panasonic GF2. We will give it an overall rating of 7 out of 10. 